Okay guys, so this is my uh, weekly roundup recap, whatever you want to call it. Um, so first things first, uh, from my blog, um, there's an article up. Um, Adaptable low power mini core processor needs a kickstart for production. And this actually went up on the 28th of September, so that's sometime last week. Um, so basically, uh, Adaptable is a fabulous semiconductor company that's um, building a, a, a chip that has 64 processing elements that should aid in uh, highly parallelized, uh, high output uh, processing. Uh, but the kicker is that they're going to be focused on community projects, open source, and um, low, uh, low price dev boards. So that's going to be in the same vein as the Beagle board, the Panda board, the Raspberry Pi, what have you. So that's uh, all well and good. And then um, the next one is going to be, uh, I actually did a Resident Evil first look. I, take, I took a look at the demo, so you can see the video here. All right. Hi, guys. Um, so uh, that's, uh, that's interesting if you want to see how the demo was. Uh, you can pick it up yourself on Xbox Live, or uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's available on the PS3, but I know it's not available on the PC, the demo. And it should be out by now, actually. So uh, take a look at the demo, see if you like it, buy it, whatever you want to do. Um, so the next uh, story is I did do a small review of the Dark Knight Rises by Gameloft uh, on my Android tablet. Um, pretty good game, uh, you should try it out. Uh, it was actually on sale for 25 cents. So, uh, I'd have to double check. Uh, I'll leave an annotation if it's still the same price. Alright, so uh, moving on. Uh, this one I thought was uh, very interesting. Uh, the reason uh, a Linux uh, only computer vendor they ship many different distros like Fedora, Ubuntu. Uh, I'm not sure if they do CentOS, but they ship many distros. Um, they actually released a tablet, uh, probably um, an ODM build, and uh, they just rebranded it. To, it's called the ZTab. Uh, basically, it's going to have an all winner A10. That's the, um, the single core Cortex A8 processor. Goes up to 1.5 gigahertz in some instances with a Mali 400 GPU. They're gonna have that one, um, and if I read here correctly, it's gonna be a 9.7 inch IPS display with a 1024 by 768 uh, pixel uh, uh, resolution. So that's gonna be uh, fairly interesting. Uh, but the, the point of the topic for me was, um, uh, even though I don't know the margins and I know the business behind it, it would be interesting if they could partner with KDE to release the the Plasma uh, UX on top of it. So not only could it ship with Android. Uh, uh, Ubuntu, because Ubuntu does have support for the, the A10 SoC, it could ship uh, support with KDE Plasma. And this could solve, you know, Aaron Saigo's uh, and make Play Lives problem, uh, having to go out into China to get ODMs to build a tablet so they can sell it. So that might be a solution. And uh, this one, this news article, I got a little bit bored, so I decided to do a political rap. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. It's a bigotry. Day of infamy. Symphony of bullets from the infantry. The crime, the pain, the sign of the times. It's the attitude of a soul man where no one else is to shine. This world so sublime. If you're different, it's a crime. The truth is hard to swallow. It's a sour as a lime. No one listens to you. We have no fame. Yeah. Uh, it's po political in a very distant sense. Uh, it's really short, so you can take a look at it. Uh, maybe you can make your own raps. And um, the latest, the latest um, news I have is um, this one is actually very popular. It's got 10,000 hits already. Um, remember earlier I talked about the the, the uh, Adaptiva's 64 core uh, processor as the first news story. So then this is almost a follow-up. Uh, this is uh, a 256 core uh, SoC being developed by a French company. Um, the technology behind it is a little bit different. Um, it's a DSP chip, uh, but what that does really do is offer very high output compute uh, performance. Uh, it can, let's say, uh, for five watts of power consumption, it can dr uh, do up to 230 gigaflops of compute performance uh, at 400 megahertz. So that's impressive to say the least. Uh, DSPs, you know, overall though, they're mainly using for accelerating. Um, uh, multimedia codecs like uh, JPEG and uh, H.264 codecs or, or VP8 codecs. Um, that's the main function, well, the modern function of DSPs. 
Uh, they don't do stuff like graphics acceleration, to my knowledge, or they aren't as easy to, to develop for, for that situation. So that's the weekly roundup recap, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm Master Cameron signing out. Peace. <laughs>